Recently at WWDC, Apple unveiled what they called the biggest change to their mobile platform since the introduction of the iPhone. And it's iOS 7, their brand spanking new OS that does away with the old look in favor of a more flat design and greater integration with the cloud and with their new desktop OS called Mavericks. And your reactions range from excited, like Kazman who writes, iOS 7 and Mavericks look awesome, to a little more cynical, like Hit and Run 3000 who writes, so basically an ugly version of Android. But whatever your initial response, you can now get a taste of the new OS yourself prior to its final release expected sometime in the fall. iOS 7 is available to developers only now, but the site Recombu has made an interactive demo of iOS 7 to be used in your browser. You can choose either a white or black phone model, then unlock the phone as you would on a physical phone. Then browse on through all your newly redesigned apps. And while the functionality can't be 100%, of course, it'll give you a pretty good idea of the redesign. You can even take a picture of yourself in the camera app. Or try sending some text messages, or browsing your calendar, or even opening up the ever-popular newsstand app. You can also swipe up from the bottom to quickly access the new feature bar where you can adjust your brightness, Wi-Fi settings, airplane mode, volume, and other actions that you used to have to dig around in your settings for. Meanwhile, a couple of our intrepid colleagues have installed the developer releases on their phones. And playing with the physical phone will show you how Apple has adjusted the animations of certain gestures for smoother browsing. You'll find a completely redesigned game center with yourself as a circular icon and different components of the app reimagined as colorful bubbles. We also took a look at the new iTunes radio, one of the more talked about new features of iOS 7 and Mavericks. In music, you'll see a radio option along with your usual playlists, artists, etc. And just as Apple described in the keynote, there are featured stations and the option to create your own. And in Maps, for example, you'll see some of the increased airdrop integration, also discussed in the keynote, like the ability to share locations with people via airdrop. So that's just a quick look, and of course this is just the developer version that should undergo plenty of tweaks before its public release in the fall. But overall, the redesign and the new palette make it almost feel like a new phone for dyed-in-the-wool iOS users. Whether iOS 7 is enough to change the hearts and minds of those already used to other ecosystems, though, we'll just have to wait and see. Are you an Android user who's considering iOS 7, or an iOS user who's thinking of ditching the iPhone? Let us know in the comments. For TFN, this is Annie.